So I, I got these guys doing work on my kitchen and they're leaving the back door wide open most of the day coming in and out. So the other day, some neighborhood cat sees that and just wanders the fuck in to cool down, makes himself at home at my love seat. I'm sitting on a fucking couch at the time. He looks up at me like, I, I don't know what the hell you're doing here, but I'll allow it. And then he just curls up on the pillow there. He doesn't run off until I get up and try, and try to pet him. Anyway, so afterwards, I, I'm posting about it on Facebook. And only then do I think to myself, why the fuck didn't I get a picture? I know as it's happening that I'm going to want to post about this on social media. And now here I am telling the story sans evidence. I deprived Facebook of a cat picture. That's almost a criminal offense. But it just didn't occur to me in the moment to take a picture because I'm mentally incapable of thinking as though I have a camera on me. This is something I've noticed a number of times before. I feel like pretty much everybody younger than me and all the people who are like my age but could afford to live a little closer to the cutting edge of technology 20 years ago have this ability to sort of think with their phones. The, the first time I noticed it was when I first saw somebody taking a picture of their work schedule on their phone. And like my dumbass had a camera phone. By then, I'm, just, I mean, I'm still writing my shit down on a scrap of paper with a borrowed pen and keep it in my wallet all week. Hell, that concept of that's how a schedule is supposed to be kept was so ingrained in my head that when I saw somebody snap a picture of theirs, my first thought was, right, because then you can just write it down at home and it can be more legible. You can do it at your own leisure, right? This shit hits me constantly because in my mind, a camera is still a thing that exists for documenting noteworthy moments or subjects. But for somebody who didn't grow up in an era where cameras needed film that had to be developed, it's also an external visual memory storage device. Like I, I was out with my sister and her 16 year old a while back. I told my niece, I said, hey, help me remember where we parked. So she took a picture of the cross street and then looked at me like the idiot that I am. And even now, a decade and then some since I started having a camera in my pocket at all times, I still can't think as though it's there. My brain is hardwired to think in a way that doesn't allow for external storage. My brain is, if I'm going to be brutally honest about it, outdated. It was built for a different way of thinking. And yes, I can certainly get better at thinking around the technology of the day, but it'll always be like thinking in a foreign language to me. I'll always think with an accent. That's a depressing thing to ruminate on. I mean, like I want us as a species to get better at thinking, and I'm glad that we are, but I also don't want to be mentally obsolete. Of course, I'm bound to be, right? We all are, even my smarmy niece and her intuitive use of modern technology. I just, I, I watch as my generation romanticizes things like reading cursive and driving a stick as though both of those things didn't suck in this desperate flailing bid to pretend that younger generations aren't better than us, but they are. They should be, and they are. The, the access to information that they have since they are born, the, the technology that they're educated with, the substantially more inclusive society that they grow up in, all of those things give them an advantage. And hey, kudos to us. Easy to lose track of this if you get far enough onto the declining end of that graph, but that is what we've been going for the whole time. And I'm sorry because I know I'm making a lot of people uncomfortable when I talk about this, especially some of the listeners that are substantially older than me, but it's a truth that we need to reckon with because at its heart, every attempt to fucking keep the Christ in Christmas or get prayer back in school or make America great again is born of this fear of obsolescence, this, this desire to elevate one's own generational values above the more evolved values born from better information. Hell, that sits at the very heart of conservatism, doesn't it? We, we build this hagiographical nostalgia about an idealized time that never was, and we use it to shield ourselves against generational mortality. And when we do this, of course, the enemy is, is whatever's changed, right? It's fucking manual transmissions if it has to be. And since demographics are always changing, that is bound to embolden racism or, or, or whatever form of bigotry provides the most visible scapegoat for our insecurities, right? The, the most visible cultural difference for most of today's conservatives is the evolving attitudes towards gender roles in younger generations. So that becomes the enemy du jour. Our, our generation was better because back then we didn't acknowledge the humanity of trans people. Boom, done, defend it, shield it. 
And, and I'm not saying any of this because I want to sympathize with the fucking transphobes or understand where they're coming from or anything like that. They can go fuck themselves. I don't care where they're coming from. They're coming from the damn past and that's where their bullshit should stay. I say it because regardless of how old you are, you're getting older. And I hope that by acknowledging this tendency now, maybe when the time comes, we can avoid doing the same shit ourselves.